Hi guys, Top Pops here, and in today's video, we are breaking out the Funko Pop podium so we can rank some more pops. So let's get started! And now the first line that we're going to be doing today is the icon. So I guess let's start with number three, of course, which is going to be the Earth Day Bill Nye. And I really am a huge fan of this figure, especially because whenever they do Earth Day Pops, they actually change the box, that way it's a little bit more green or eco-friendly. And it is a little bit weird because for the Bill Nye one, I don't actually know if they did do a recycled box or maybe they just made it look like cardboard because usually on the back, it'll tell you how much of the box is actually recycled material. But for this one, it just has a giant photo of Bill Nye. But what I do know is that this one did come out around Earth Day or on Earth Day. So I do know that it is part of that, so it probably is one of those boxes. And something that I really like about this Bill Nye versus the normal one is that he's actually holding the world in his hand for Earth Day, of course, where the normal one, he has just like a little flask. And I mean, that one's cool, but I thought that this one was just a little bit better. And so that's why this one is going at my number three spot. All right, now coming in at number two for the Icons line, we have a pretty interesting one. This was an only at Target exclusive, but actually this specific figure you had to get over at San Diego Comic-Con because it debuted there at the Entertainment Earth booth. And this is actually Jim Henson holding Ernie. And I think that this pop is great. There's two different versions as well. There's him holding Kermit and then of course him holding Ernie. And I felt like this one was just a little bit more unique because you see Jim Henson and Kermit all the time, but you don't see him with Ernie that often. And of course there are probably images of Jim Henson out there with Ernie, but to see him holding Ernie in a figure, it's pretty unique. And if you guys are wondering, there's no photo of Jim Henson and Ernie on the back side. It literally just says Jim Henson, his logo. And then if you guys want to check out the front again with that debut sticker, it is a pretty interesting one. And I do like that it's got the 50th anniversary right in the middle of it. And if you're wondering what the 50th is for, it's actually San Diego Comic-Cons and nothing to do with the Muppets. Oh, and you know what's funny, guys? I see on the bottom here that I got this figure for $30. So I'm wondering, what's it going for now? Just for fun, let's check. And let me see here, I'm scanning it into the Funko app and it says 18. Ah. Well, it doesn't matter to me because it's one of my favorite figures in the collection and I don't really see anybody selling the debut one that often anymore. So that is why it's at my number two spot. It's just too bad it's not worth that much. And now guys, coming into my number one spot for the Icon Collection, it is actually the MTV Moon Person because this thing is just chocked full of detail and I never expected them to make an award as a Funko Pop. And something kind of funny about this character is that they actually put this big sticker on the front that's in the exact same shape as the Walmart exclusive sticker because it was supposed to be exclusive to Walmart and then for some reason that never happened so they shoved this giant classic icon sticker on the front there which is a little out of place but I do enjoy it. And if you look kind of closely, you can see a bit of sticker residue on this side here, like that's where the Walmart sticker used to be. And if you were lucky enough and you actually found this one at Walmart, a lot of them actually had the original Walmart sticker underneath the new one. And something that I enjoy about this pop is that they made the MTV logo at the top there, as well as the MTV Moon Person text at the bottom iridescent. So if I do this, you can really see how shiny that thing is. And if you look on the back here, you can actually see a pretty great shot of the award and what it looks like in real life. And it doesn't show you the base, but it does give you a good idea of the top half. And something else that I find really neat about this figure, and that's probably why I put it at my number one spot, is because they give you the base. So if you were to have this out of the box, just kind of sitting on your desk or something, it actually says MTV Music Television Video Music Awards, and I think it's really cool that they even gave it that base. And of course the head's going to be a little bit bigger because it's a Funko Pop, but I think it fits well with the giant base. Then I also do really enjoy that it has the MTV flag in its left hand. And because of all of the things that I just mentioned, as well as it being a pretty unique figure, that is why I've got it at my number one spot. And now everybody, the next set of figures that we're gonna be ranking is The Office. And I have three really great ones here, but of course, let's start with number three, which is going to be this one right here, Dwight Schrute holding his Dwight Schrute bobblehead. And now what I love about this figure is that they really did just shrink down that bobblehead to be in his hand. Like it looks exactly like it does in the show, besides the head that's just a little bit popified. And something that I think was intentional with this figure, I'm not exactly sure if it was, but it definitely looks like it, is that the smaller bobblehead is a little bit rough, almost like Angela made it for Dwight. Because when you look at the glasses especially, you can see that they're not the cleanest, but I think that's on purpose because it's a one-of-one one bobblehead. And well, anyways, guys, I think it's just a pretty neat figure, and I really do like that they made the smaller Dwight actually popified. I mean, it would have been cool if it was like an actual, like, I guess, no, that would have been weird. I was gonna say if it was like the actual bobblehead in the show, but I feel like making it popified was the only way they could have done it. But anyways, because this is a pretty unique figure and you don't get something like this very often, that is why I put it at my number three spot. And now coming in at my number two spot, we actually have another award. And this one here is the Dundee exclusive to Amazon. 
And now the reason that I put this one on my list is actually very similar to the MTV Moon Person, just because of the amount of detail that they put into this one. And also, you don't get awards as Funko Pops very often. Like, I feel like there's only two of them, this one, and then the MTV Music Award. And then I can't think of any other ones. And I especially love that they made this figure chrome, and I feel like they probably should have done the MTV Moon Person like this as well, because when you look at the back of the box, it is chrome. Like, that is definitely a chrome paint job. Like, just to show you guys there. I mean, come on. It's not matte. Like, I know they made it metallic, but chrome would have been a lot cooler. And also another reason that I put this one on my top three is because most of the other office characters is literally just them standing there with a different outfit on or maybe them holding something that pertains to one episode where this, I mean, it's just so different compared to the rest of the set. And so that's why I've got the Dundee at my number two spot. And now everybody, let's get on to the number one office pop in my collection, which is going to be the Golden Face Jim. Because I mean, seriously, this is a funny one. And one thing that I love about this character is that they actually gave Jim glitter on his face like he has in Threat Level Midnight. And I don't take this one out of the box very often because I'm afraid I'm going to get glitter on my hands, but looking at this one out of the box, it really does look nice. The one thing that I have a little bit of a complaint about, and I don't know if it's on all of them or just mine, but you can see that the glitter doesn't like completely hit the gold right around the eyes there. It's not touching all of it, but it's still pretty close. And I really do enjoy that he's holding stuff that goes along with Threat Level Midnight, like the hockey puck as well well as the blaster, I can't say it on YouTube. And I know earlier I was talking about office pops that are literally only in one episode, but I think that this one here is different enough that it could definitely make it to the number one spot because that's where it is at my number one spot. All right, everybody, so the last set that we're gonna be ranking today is going to be Looney Tunes. And let's start it off with this one right here, which is the FYE exclusive Taz as the Flash. And now the reason that I've got this one on my list is just because of how different this figure is. And also there is a normal Taz, but I feel like just giving it the Flash costume just adds adds more detail. And I do think that it is a pretty funny pop. And when you look at this one out of the box, it really does look nice. And I also do enjoy that they gave him his tornado at the bottom there full of dust because it really makes him look like he's going fast. And also, I really do enjoy that the costume just kind of looks like it's sewn on. Like, it's almost like homemade where you can see the stitching around the eyes as well as on the old-fashioned kind of like wings on the side there. I think it really is nice. And it's better, in my opinion, than having like a very professional ta oh, Taz costume, a very professional Flash costume on Taz. Actually, now that I'm looking at it again, I'm noticing it's not even just on the wings as well as around his eyes. It's also on the logo in the middle. And that is a really nice detail. And if I didn't have this one, I probably would have put the normal Taz on my number three spot but because it's got so much detail and then it's also Taz on top of it that is why it's at my number three spot. All right, everybody, now let's get on to my number two spot, which is going to be a classic Looney Tunes character. And this one here is the 2017 Spring Conventions exclusive or Emerald City Comic Con, Michigan J. Frog. And the reason that I really enjoyed this pop is because of the unique sculpt. And also, I feel like it is getting pretty expensive now because it did come out almost five years ago. Actually, it might have even been five years ago because on the front here, it says 2017, but then on the bottom, it says 2016 for some reason. Hmm. The only thing that I find a little bit weird about this figure is that when you look on the back, they didn't give it the normal Looney Tunes characters, they actually gave you Duck Dodgers. Why? <laughs> like, I'm looking over here and I would have expected something like maybe Taz, Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck on the back, but no, they gave us Duck Dodgers, Space Cadet, K-9, and Marvin the Martian. I don't know. And now here is Michigan J. Frog out of the box. And something that I really enjoy is the feet on this one. And yeah, it says 2017 on the bottom. So the box was made in 2016 when the figure was made in 2017. I don't know. But anyways, guys, I'm talking about that too much. I want to just talk about the figure. And something that I really enjoy is the huge feet on this one. And I feel like if he didn't have those giant feet, he would not stand by himself. But then again, this is what he looks like in the cartoon. So it makes sense why they gave him to him. And I really do enjoy that he's got the cane with his pinky up as well as the top hat. And because of all of the reasons that I just mentioned, that is why this one is at my number two spot. And I don't know if you guys are even going to let me count this one because it is two figures, but it's a two pack, so I couldn't do them separately. And this one here is the Bugs Bunny as Batman and LeBron James as Robin. Like seriously, this is a unique two pack. And now the reason I have this one at number one is because I could see Bugs Bunny getting a figure where he is Batman, but for LeBron James to be Robin, it's just a really weird combo. And I know that this happens in the movie, but I want to say it's for like two, maybe three minutes at max. So that's why I really enjoy it. It's just such a unique and obscure character. I love it. And now here's the Bugs Bunny as Batman. And the only thing that bothers me about this pop is that when you look at the chest, it actually has the trademark under the Batman logo. I mean, other than that, it looks great, but it is just kind of funny. Why did they have to put the TM there? 
And then here's the LeBron one as well, and he doesn't actually have a Robin logo, but I'm guessing they didn't put one because he probably doesn't have one in the film. But I do like this one as well, especially because you get his giant beard. And I wonder if I've got, no, I don't have a LeBron one out here with me, but it is kind of funny because it is the exact same beard they would use in the normal basketball figures. And I know it sounds dumb to say, but I mention it because this one is the animated version, so I thought they might have made it a little bit different to go more with the movie. And without Space Jam A New Legacy, we would have never got figures like this, so that's why I've got it in my number one spot. And well, anyways, guys, there you go. That is my top three for Icons of the Office and Looney Tunes. And please, let me know in the comment section below if you guys would have done these lists any differently. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, I definitely can do that because I have so many other categories that I want to rank. And I'm even thinking of doing stuff like rides as well as 10-inch pops. Let me know what you guys think. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Stop doing the green and I rock green is bringing the peace. I'm bumping that pot in the car, pretending I got all the eyes on me. Got a bad baby and she's independent.